And so it was in one of these two courtyards that Jesus turned over the tables of the money changers. But why did he do it? What were the specific words that he used? You have made my father's house a den of robbers. Now, my father's house is a technical phrase meaning the holy precinct of the temple. Inside the Sorek fence that Batia mentioned. You can see it here, those little white bollards. Do you see it just outside the temple proper? That's the Sorek fence that marked out the area of Solomon's old temple. Therefore, it was called Father's House. And when Jesus said, you've made my father's house a den of robbers, he was declaring, you have desecrated the temple. And you might say, well, no doubt they were right to go to the Holy Precinct. Why did the priests allow them to do that? Because the priests themselves were very corrupt. And they were getting a backhander from the money changers and those that sold doves and other sacrificial animals. So the whole thing was shot through with corruption, as you might expect. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. It's one of our great politicians who said that, and there's real truth in it, isn't there? But we want you to notice the Antonia Fortress towering, towering above the Temple Mount. It was absolutely full of Roman troops, particularly at the great pilgrim feasts of Passover, Pentecost and Tabernacles. And so there were soldiers all over that fortress when Paul came here. And in Acts 21, we read about Paul being arrested and taken in to the Roman barracks, that building there. And from there, he was hustled out under cover of darkness with a virtual army of troops to protect him and taken down to Caesarea on the coast, which is where we shall conclude our tour next Wednesday. But I just want to read this little passage because it'll all suddenly come clear. Some Jews, oh sorry, the next day Paul took some men, Jewish men, and purified himself along with them. That was in the temple. Then he went to the temple to give notice of the date when the days of purification would end and the offering would be made for each of those Jewish men. But they came from outside Jerusalem. When the seven days were nearly over, some Jews from the province of Asia, where Ephesus was, saw Paul at the temple. They stirred up the whole crowd and seized him, shouting, Fellow Israelites, help us! This is the man who teaches everyone, everywhere, against our people and our law and this place. This place was a technical term for the temple. And besides, he has brought Greeks into the temple and defiled this holy place. They'd previously seen Trophimus the Ephesian in the city with Paul and assumed that Paul had brought him into the holy part of the temple. And the whole city was aroused, and the people came running from all directions, seizing Paul. They dragged him from the temple, and immediately the gates were shut. While they were trying to kill him, news reached the commander of the Roman troops that the whole city of Jerusalem was in an uproar. And he at once took some officers and soldiers and ran down to the crowd. Ran down from where to where? From the top of the Antonia Fortress and down into the area you see before you, which is where Paul was beaten, being beaten up by the Jews. So he runs down, <coughs> and when the rioters saw the commander and his soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. So the soldiers came down with the commander of the fortress and they arrested Paul for his own safety and took him up into the fortress and there, later on that night, he was taken with a huge contingent of Roman troops and taken across and down to the Mediterranean. But what an adventurous life he lived. Why? Because he loved Jesus so much. And we're going to come to a wonderful conclusion in Caesarea when we're talking about the apostles. But history comes to life, the Bible comes to life, when you see this model, and you can just imagine the troops running down into the courtyard, rescuing Paul from this vast and hostile crowd, and removing him up into the fortress for his own protection.